Mike, thank you. If you're out on the road the next couple of weeks, you might come across a woman running on the shoulder pulling a wagon. She's put a lot of miles on those wheels and she expects to add a lot more. WKYT Sean Moody has the story behind her journey. Kentucky's beauty is best seen from the back roads. Rosie Swale Pope is getting a good look. Yeah, I run at night under the moonlight. I listen to the first bird song in the morning. This stretch of US 60 in Bath County is just a fragment of what's ahead for her. In the slow way round to the, to the Grand Canyon and to Las Vegas. I'm going to end in San Francisco. She's 68 years old and thousands of miles from her house in Wales, but home travels with her. And it will seem rather small because it's easier to pull. So the first thing I did was stick pictures of all my family up here. This is not Rosie's first run. The, the last one was to turn sorrow around. In 2003, she lost her husband to cancer. The grief drove her to begin running. Five years and more than 20,000 miles later, she'd gone around the world. When something bad happens in your life, you, you kind of find a way to turn it around. This time she's running for cancer awareness and to raise awareness for veterans' needs. She's not taking donations. She just wants to inspire people to help where they can. If people give me money, I nearly always give it back to them. I say, please do it in honor of this stupid woman pulling the cart, but give it to your church. And she's certainly gotten some attention around here. We saw you last uh, yesterday afternoon pulling the hill coming into town. It was a big hill. That'll mean it's nice going downhill the other end. And she's got thousands of miles ahead and lots of people left to meet and inspire. You don't have to think of yourself as special to do amazing things. In Bath County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Rosie expects her journey to take her about six months. Still